Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. According to a NASA study, sea level along the U.S. coast could rise as much as 12 inches in the next 30 years. Global sea level has been rising for decades in response to a warming climate, and multiple lines of evidence indicate that sea level rise is accelerating, said NASA in a news release. The new findings support the higher range scenarios outlined in an interagency report released in February 2022. That report was developed by multiple agencies including NASA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the United States Geologic Survey. It projected significant sea level rise by region including 10 to 14 inches of rise on average for the East Coast, 14 to 18 inches for the Gulf Coast, and 4 to 8 inches for the west coast. Rising sea levels are accelerating. A key takeaway is that sea level rise along the U.S. coast has continued to accelerate over the past three decades. And apparently the author believes that the Statue of Liberty is only about 14 inches tall. We've seen the propaganda. Now let's look at the science. Sea level has risen more than 120 meters, or 400 feet, over the last 20,000 years. Almost all of that rise occurred before 7,000 years ago, and sea level is rising much more slowly now. The report predicts twice as much sea level rise on the East Coast as it does on the West Coast. This sort of prediction should concern anyone who understands science. Water seeks a level surface. Other than minor short-term variations, you can't get any large differences in sea level rise rates in one part of the world than you can in other parts of the world. All the oceans are interconnected. The reason that there appears to be more sea level rise on the east coast than the west coast is because the land on the east coast is sinking from post-glacial rebound. And this has nothing to do with climate. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the absolute global sea level rise over the last 30 to 40 years is believed to be 1.7 to 1.8 millimeters per year. So over the next 30 years, we would only expect to see about 50 millimeters or 2 inches of sea level rise. This is the NOAA tide gauge at Boston, Massachusetts. If sea level rise was accelerating, we would see an upwards curvature, but that upwards curvature does not exist. Sea level at Boston is rising at about the same rate it was 100 years ago. The 50-year average rate of sea level rise is lower now than it was in 1950. A few years ago, NOAA made predictions for future sea level rise at Boston. They had a high prediction, intermediate high, intermediate, intermediate low, and low. The highest prediction had the most upwards curvature, and the lowest prediction had a downwards curvature. But the actual rate of sea level rise has been below their lowest prediction. We see the same pattern at New York. Sea level is rising at about the same rate now as it was when Abraham Lincoln was president. Like Boston, sea level rise in New York has been lower than the lowest projection made by the U.S. government. Sea level rise rates in New York now are lower than they were in 1950. At Atlantic City, New Jersey, sea level rise rates now are about the same as they were in 1910. The rate of sea level rise at Atlantic City has been lower than the lowest government projection. Sea level in the San Francisco Bay is about the same now as it was in 1940. If there has been any sea level rise, the rates now are lower than they were in 1975. Sea level at La Jolla, California is about the same now as it was in 1985. Recent sea level rise rates at La Jolla are close to zero and are well below all U.S. government predictions. High tide sea level at La Jolla now is not significantly different than it was in 1871. At Crescent City, California, sea level is falling at about the same rate it was 90 years ago. Sea level at Crescent City, California is below all predictions by the U.S. government. A few years ago, The Guardian reported Florida is about to be wiped off the map by rising seas. But if we look at Google Earth imagery, we can see that the beach at Fort Lauderdale has actually expanded over the last 40 years. 
This photograph of the beach at Fort Lauderdale was from the opening scene of the 1960 movie Where the Boys Are. Now let's compare the shoreline to recent Google Earth imagery of Fort Lauderdale. The beach now is at least as large as it was in 1960. This home in Miami recently sold for more than $106 million. The home is right on the water just above sea level. Banks would not be giving out 30-year mortgages in Florida if they believed that the state was about to be wiped out by sea level. The whole proposition makes no sense. The different rates of sea level rise on the different coasts which were projected shows that this has nothing to do with climate. There can be small differences in the rate of sea level rise around the world over the short term, but any major change in the rate of global sea level rise would be seen at every single tide gauge in the world. If the rate of global sea level rise was actually accelerating, we would see an upwards curvature in every single tide gauge on the planet. But the reality is that there's no upwards curvature, which means there's been no acceleration. In California, it looks more like a downwards curvature than an upwards curvature. These claims from NASA are propaganda. They're not science. They have nothing to do with reality. And it's particularly disturbing that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration was involved in this study because the conclusions of the study directly contradict their own data. This entire article has no basis in reality. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on this fraud for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, Caesar, Tokianupla on the web at realclimatescience.com.